Melania Trump, she's about to be the first lady. But what do we really know about her journey from model to mom? Here's a look at the stunning transformation of Melania Trump. Growing up Knaus She was born Melania Knaus on April 26, 1970 in the tiny town of Sevnica in the former Yugoslavia. According to the AP, her father Victor worked as a salesman and her mother Amalia was a children's clothing designer. Childhood friend Mirjana Jelancic said that, I think I can say Sevnica was too small for her. Even as a child, she dreamed of moving. Child Prodigy While attending the Secondary School of Design and Photography in Ljubljana, Melania was discovered by photographer Stana Yurko at the age of 16. He taught her how to pose but ran into an unusual problem when he first went to photograph her. He couldn't find any shoes that would fit her. I didn't have shoes for her because she had very big feet. The other models had smaller feet. Despite this handicap, Melania went on to model in Paris and Milan before moving to New York to follow her American dream. She did what she had to do. In New York, Melania struggled at first to land modeling gigs. So according to GQ, she improvised going on casting calls for alcohol and tobacco ads, which her underage competitors couldn't be hired for. And former roommate Matthew Atanian said she ended up getting breast augmentation to be more competitive. She went away for a two-week vacation, then came back and was more buxom. She admitted it to me. She just said it needed to be done to get more lingerie jobs. All of this led to her infamous nude British GQ spread in 2000. In a 2015 interview with Barbara Walters, Melania gracefully acknowledged her former career. I think people will always judge. Maybe they will say, oh, the past that you have, the way you were modeling. That's part of the job that I was doing. I was a very successful model. And I did some photo shoots. Uh, yes, they were a little risky, but nothing more than you see every year in Sport Illustrated. Meeting the Donald In 1998, the then 28-year-old Melania met her future husband, Donald Trump, at a party during New York Fashion Week. She quickly took charge getting his number. Well, I, first when we met, I didn't give him my number. He was with the date. So I told him, give me your number and I will call you. I wanted to see what kind of number he would give me. Business, home. If he would give me a business number, I'm not a girl doing business with him. Her friend Matthew Atanian said it didn't go well at first, but eventually worked out. She had some trust issues with him at the beginning. She kept her apartment to have her own space because of this. It's all about that power and protection. I think she needed a strong man, a father figure. One that would put a $3 million ring on it. Her marriage philosophy Melania told Parenting Magazine, quote, I don't think you need to be with your husband every minute of every day. Both people should do what their passion is and then get together in the mornings and evenings and share and experience life and have a great time. You know that saying, work hard and play harder, that's what we do, end quote. For her part during their marriage, Melania has kept active in creating a skincare line and jewelry collections while also raising their son, Baron. Motherhood over politics. In a late 2015-2020 interview on ABC with the Trumps, Barbara Walters questioned why Melania wasn't more active in the campaign. Melania answered decisively. Well, it's my choice not to be there. I support my husband 100%, but we have a nine-year-old son together, a Baron, and I'm raising him, and this is the age he needs a parent at home. Hard to argue with that. First Lady in her most public role yet, Melania is taking on the role of First Lady of the United States. She will be America's second foreign-born First Lady, a fact that has already led people to ask her what she thinks about her husband's immigration policies. Which is no surprise. Like all First Ladies, one of her main jobs will be the task of defending her husband, as she has already had to do regarding his comments toward women. The words my husband used are unacceptable and offensive to me. This does not represent the man that I know. He has the heart and mind of a leader. I hope people will accept his apology as I have and focus on the important issues facing our nation and the world. The next Jackie Kennedy? Melania has stated she would take on a traditional role as First Lady, citing Jackie Kennedy as an inspiration in an interview with GQ, which noted that JFK's wife was endlessly glamorous and endlessly tolerant of her husband's philandering. Professor of History Catherine Jellison, who studies First Families, also cited Jackie Kennedy as a likely role model for Melania. I think she will be a quiet First Lady. 
because that's been her demeanor throughout the campaign, someone who doesn't weigh in on policy issues. She might be a sort of Jackie Kennedy type, well-dressed woman who will be seen as popular in the women's magazines but largely stays quiet and on the sidelines in terms of her public image. Only Melania can truly know how similar she is to Jackie, but one thing is certain, we're all about to find out. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.